Alrighty then, today's tutorial is going to be on how to create a roof. If you're into architecture, ribbon up the top there, you can see that we've got roofs here. If you click on it, it's got footprint, extrusion, face, feet, fascia, gutter. We're going to today put a roof on here, which is a standard hip roof for hip roof. So I'm just going to click on roof. This comes up. So I'll just go cancel for the moment, I don't want to save that. And it says you have created the roof on the lowest level, would you like to move it to level 1? The answer is yes. We now have a cross and a tick. If you, something goes wrong, it doesn't work, hit the cross and you can go through and start it again. Over here, it's got our draw commands. So there's a few here. This one here is pretty good. What it does is it allows you to pick a wall and you can see that the dotted line is away from the wall. It's got a 600mm overhang for your eave. There it is there, it says 600. If I made that zero, it would be right on that wall there. So I'm happy with 600. I'm just going to click on 600. Uh, 30 degrees. I'm going to change that to 22. 30 degrees is a little bit too much. I'm going to pick the next wall. 30 degrees as well. I'll go 22. I'm going to select the next wall. I don't want 30 degrees, I'm going to make my roof even, and the last one, 22 degrees as well. Okay, so if we're happy with that, we've got a wall on each side, I just went through and selected the walls with that, if I tick it, would you like attach the highlighted walls to the roof, just go yes, and that will shove it up on the inside. Okay. Any problems there? Well, let's have a look. We'll go to our 3D image and you can see that we now have a roof there. Okay, so we'll just go back to ground floor. There's our roof. It's now on level 1. There it is there, because you asked to move it there. I'm just going to delete that and let's have a look at another way that we can do this. I'm going to go back to ground floor. Um, I'm going to go roof again. Yes, I want to move it to level 1 and I am going to freehand draw it. So this is something you probably wouldn't do, but let's have a look to see what happens. Now sometimes it just laughs at you and won't let you do these odd designs. That's okay. I'm gonna tick that, see what happens. I'm going to say no this time because I don't want it to attach to that. I want it level 1 because I want to put a suffete in there. So would you like to No. And there we go. You can see that it's actually worked. So let's have a look at that in 3D. There's my roof. So you can see that you can do quite amazing different shapes if you really want to. Um, if we go just to there, you can see that that's all pretty much in line. I've got this here, that's our ceiling, so it's not actually got anything to do with the roof, but that there is our roof and it's looking pretty good at the moment. Alright, just going to go back to level 1, just going to delete that roof, and I'll go back to ground floor, and we'll have a look at putting a standard roof on. Level 1, yes, comes up to here, I could use rectangle, but I'm going to do this. I just want to put that original one back in there. I'm going to leave it at 30 degrees. You can make it whatever your drawing requires. And I'll just go tick yes. Alright, and like I said, if you want to check that, you can just go 3D and see it. Or you can even go to one of the elevations. And there it is. Alrighty, have fun with that. Uh, play around with it. You can actually do different sorts of roofs. This one here I'll be talking about in a separate one. So this one here is roof by footprint. Alright, have fun with that and I'll see you in the next one.